Warning, some scenes in this video may disturb some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. For today's illustration, I have decided that I am going to recreate one of the scariest, most frightening pieces in art history. Now this is just one of many and I went through quite a few of the old artists that did some really scary, frightening work. And when I came across Francisco Goya's Saturn devouring his son, that one really spoke to me. And I sort of looked at it and was like, yeah, I could, I could turn that into something completely disturbing. So that's why I ran with that. Plus it's just got a creepy, creepy vibe to it. And then when you read like the history of Francisco Goya's uh, painting past and where he was like doing his art and yeah, how he lived, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit, it's a little bit frightening. So I have decided that I am going to do Saturn devouring his son. So this is what it looks like. It is truly terrifying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in my style of how I would paint this particular piece. So that's what this is about today. I've already done a Salvador Dali one. If you want to check that out, I will have it up in the corner here. Uh, the, yeah, I can't remember what, what, I think it was called The Temptation of St. Anthony I did. That one was done like years ago. So yeah, I decided to re decided to recreate another artist one, but this time do the mo one of the most terrifying art pieces in history. Let's get cracking with this one and uh, see what I can turn this into into my own style. Once again today I am doing another bordered illustration. Uh, I've been enjoying these lately, so. I've decided to do them again. So what I've been doing is I didn't explain the process in the last video, but I've been putting them onto uh, another bit of um, raised surface. This happens to be just a wad of paper and I tape them to that so I can easily move the piece around if I need to, uh, because sticking them to your desk, you, you can't move it. And I do like to flip the canvas a fair bit, uh, especially when I'm drawing. So this enables me to do that if I stick it to some sort of movable surface. So that's exactly what I did for this piece and I do for all my pieces because it just makes life easy. So to this piece, this is one of the most disturbing paintings in history. So I will give you a little bit of a rundown on Francisco Goya. Now he is a Spanish artist. Well, he was a Spanish artist. He was born in 1746 and he died in 1828. So he had a pretty good life for back then. He lived until he was 82. Now Goya liked to paint directly on his walls in his house. And he did this between 1819 and 1823. Now, he apparently painted uh, 14 uh, artworks directly on the walls in his house. Now, he worked with oil paints, uh, something that I don't work with. So this is uh, me, me doing this rendition or this um, version of, of his painting is in watercolor totally in my style so yeah i was not going to recreate it in oil paints that's for sure because this is all about you know redoing uh artwork in my style basically so it was said that uh goya got inspiration from peter paul rubens uh satin devouring his son which was done in 1636 and that may have been the inspiration behind goya doing his version now, about the painting, apparently uh, Saturn devouring his son was about the Greek myth of the Titan Cronus, which is Saturn. 
Uh, it apparently, uh, apparently Saturn feared that his kids would overthrow him. It was foretold in some sort of prophecy that this would happen. So Saturn ate all his children as they were born. How disturbing is that? So around in 1819, uh, Goya bought a house in Bordeaux, France, where he proceeded to paint the 14 works known as the black paintings on the walls in this house. He started painting these inspiring, uh, beautiful pieces on his wall, but for some reason over time, he became really sort of bitter and started painting over these pieces with disturbing and haunting images. And Saturn devouring his son was one of them. Now, this particular piece was one of six paintings that he had painted on his dining room walls. After his death, this uh, painting, well, all of his paintings were transferred to canvases. Also, Goya did not name any of his paintings. They were named after his death. So no one really knows why he sort of went down this bitter twisted path. Um, they could, it could have been from the fact that um, in 1792, uh, Goya contracted some sort of fever that left him deaf. Uh, this could have sort of sent him in a little bit of a spiral. Uh, who knows what had happened to change his mind from doing lovely pieces to these really dark black paintings. It's not really known. So he could have been suffering from mental illness. Like I said, nobody knows. Nobody, nobody really knows what happened. But this painting is extremely disturbing and I can see why it has been labeled one of the most frightening pieces in history. And uh, naturally uh, with my interpretation of how I have, how I would have painted this, it's even more disturbing. <laughs> and uh, hence the reason why I put a disclaimer on the beginning of this video because of the nature of, of how I have done this. And yeah, this is a very simple piece, but it's a very sort of disturbing piece. And I, I sort of was feeling uh, like I needed to do like a like this proper looking baby, and that's what I went with. But I know it was a I know it's a little bit disturbing uh, looking at this with all this blood. So what I did was I sort of softened the blow a little bit by turning the baby into some sort of like doll looking thing with all the stitches and everything, and then adding a bit of like the stitcher around the the oh, hideous Saturn's leg, just to say you know just to tie it in that this is um, his child that this is a part of him so it's yeah so it's sort of tied in with each other but yeah like I know I took this one in a pretty disturbing uh way but I also was feeling this direction as well and um yeah like I I don't apologize for uh the work that I do do because it's what I want to do and I do enjoy doing what I do and it's and uh yeah, I, a lot of this is, is shock value and I know and I, I enjoy doing sort of these really dark, morbid art pieces. So there's some peel porn for you, for those people who like the peel porn. And that's my final, uh, my final piece right there of Francisco Goya's Satin Devouring His Son. I am out of here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.